What's up, Bowbridge? I'm Alex. And I'm Amanda, and welcome to the Nightly Wrap-Up. We want to begin by welcoming everyone back and welcoming the class of 2017 to Oldbridge High School. As all of you know, we will be coming to you every Friday to let you know about everything going on here at Oldbridge High School, so let's get started. The football team started their season with a bang by beating the number 10 ranked team in the state, Sayreville, 35 to 19. The GMC Red Division in football is often referred to as the toughest division in the state with three teams playing in the state's sectional championships last year and two winning. And our football team opens with all three of those teams in order. As you know, they beat Sayreville and lost a close game to Piscataway this past week. And tonight they are playing South Brunswick at home where they will try to move to 2-1 on the season. Nick Ledecky leads the offense with 169 yards and Marcus Lomini has 162 yards and three touchdowns on the season. Many of our other teams have gotten off to strong starts as well. The girls team is 4-0 and haven't really been challenged in most of those games. They beat Monroe on Tuesday 3-0 and junior Alexis Suarez has been on fire putting the ball in the back of the net. Goalie Ali Moore has been stout in goal already pitching two shutouts on the season. Another undefeated team is the girls cross country team who are 4-0 on the season. They have been led by a strong pack of runners so far, including Shanna O'Mara, Alyssa Kramer, and Stephanie Liu. The boys' cross-country team has started the season 3-1 and, and are coming off a win over rival J.P. Stevens this Tuesday. They have been led by Gerard D'Ambrosio, Mike Malazzo, and Sean Van Busker. The girls' volleyball team has looked very good this year and started the season by beating East Brunswick for the first time in over 10 years. They are one of the strongest teams in the conference. The team has been spearheaded by Marta Belli, Annalise Capobianca, and Olympia Trzechowski. The boys' soccer team beat Monroe on Tuesday 3-1. to Tyler Mazza scored twice for the Knights, and Joel De Rossi tallied once. Goalie Chris Botros has been strong in the net this season to lead a stout defense. The girls' tennis team has been on fire lately, winning three in a row and are led by freshman first singles Nicole Azarian and junior second singles Nisha Shah. The gymnastics team got their first win of the season this week, beating Colts Neck. Captain Victoria Lee had the highest score of the match. The field hockey team has been working hard and have been led by Gina Orsella and Isabel Vega with two goals each on the season. Each week we are going to have different features on the show and when we thought about what we wanted to do the first week, we all agreed there was only one option. That's great. I was hoping we were going to do the feature on me and my life. You guys are going to love. No, Alex. Mr. No, Sasso no. was nice enough to give us a few minutes to talk about the beginning of the school year. Oh, that's a good feature too. Let's turn it over to Mr. Sasso where Lexi Lockman had a chance to drop in with Sasso. What's up, Old Bridge? I'm Lexi Lockman and welcome to the very first episode of Stopping by Sasso's. I would like to thank Principal Sasso for joining us today. Isn't this such a beautiful setting? Sure is. Reminds me of home. <laughs> well, I would like to start off by saying that I was so excited for the very first week of school. It went phenomenal. It sure did, and, and certainly a special thanks to our teachers uh, who, who came back after a long summer and got right in the classroom and have just set the tone this year for what I know is going to be a great school year. Uh, our students, just an absolutely great job after meeting with the, all of the students and the entire student body during the first couple days of school and uh, the new crisis management rules and no hats. It's just been a, a very exciting first two weeks that everyone is on the same page and certainly working towards the same goal. School spirit, I think, is at an all-time high and certainly, hopefully, will only get better. Not only the school spirit here itself, but at tailgate especially, and at our very first game against Piscataway. Absolutely. Uh, you know, the tailgate was, again, a huge success. I think over 750 students bought a ticket to come to tailgate. And, you know, I can remember standing on the field and watching the parade of students coming from the back of Sandburg down to the field. And just for me, uh, you know, being a principal of this high school, it's just so much pride to, to see our students in purple coming to support each other. Uh, it was just a, an excellent night. It truly was a purple out, and I think it was awesome how we're entering this contest for Katy Perry. Yes, halftime for those of us who stuck around in the bleachers. I think, uh, I think we have a real shot, and uh, I would certainly love to have Katy Perry come to our uh, homecoming October pep rally, so we'll have to just see what happens. Well, you know, a little birdie told me that you are quite the singer. Oh, well. <laughs> You know, uh, the voice last year was my breakout performance, but uh, I think we'll save that for another time. Yeah, you'll, you'll definitely have to sing for us one day. Yeah, maybe one day. So one thing that we have stressed upon this year is our security rules, such as keeping the doors closed for others, such as strangers, students, even teachers. 
Another thing is keeping your headphones out of your ears while walking in the hallway, right? Mr. Sasso. Oh, sorry. It's important that we follow all rules, including headphones off while we're in the hallway. Anyway, the month of October has many great events coming up, such as homecoming game, pink out, what else? Absolutely. Uh, the next few weeks are going to be really exciting, starting with the senior dinner cruise in just uh, about a week from now. Uh, we also have homecoming game, homecoming dance. We have our pink out. Uh, it's also the week of respect, uh, anti-bullying month, red ribbon week. So many exciting things for all of us to become a part of and really drive the school spirit through the roof. Well, you know what I'm most excited for? Hmm, what could that be? The PSATs. I mean, who wouldn't be excited for that? You know, and I'm glad you said that. <laughs> this year is going to be our first ever 9th, 10th, and 11th grade PSAT, October 16th. So more info to follow, but let's get ready for the PSAT. Yeah. Well, anyway, that's all about all the time that we have for today. But don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Stoppin' By Sassos. And you can also tweet to me any questions that you would like to ask our principal. And not only will he answer them, but I will give you a shout out. So thanks for watching Stopping By Sassos. I'm Lexi Lockman. Thank you for joining us today. Thank and you. back to you, Alex and Amanda. That's good stuff. Sasso is the man. That's right. Make sure to get out to support all of our teams competing right now. Go to the football game tonight or a soccer game next week. Check out a cross country meet over at Thompson Park or a tennis match at the Municipal Center. Whatever it is you do, just get out there to support each other and let's make this the best year ever at Overt High School. Well, that about does it. I'm Alex. And I'm Amanda. And remember, it's, it's always nighttime in Oldbridge. Oldbridge.